This espresso machine with PID temperature control and heat exchange boiler is NSF and ETL certified. An electrically heated group means super fast heat up times, like ready to brew in just eight minutes and very precise brew temps. And bonus compared to similar competing machines, it's an incredible value. Hey, espresso lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Today, an in-depth look at the Bedzera BZ13. Coming up, I'll take you inside the machine, have results of brew temperature test using a SCASE device, check out steaming power and a whole lot more. If you're looking for a true value in an incredibly solid machine, it's gonna be hard to beat the BZ13 with a starting price below other heat exchange boiler machines that don't have the precision of PID. And if you like value, I'll have a quick look at Bedzera's BB005 grinder, a machine grade conical burr grinder that pairs well with the BZ13, is simple to use and below the price of comparable appliance grade units. The BZ13 comes in two flavors, the PM version for manual extractions, press the brew button to start and press again to stop, and the DE version, which has two programmable volumetric doses plus manual extractions using the button with Bedzera's cool Snake Eating Man logo. Before we dive in, here's a quick comparison of basic specs of the BZ13 to other heat exchange machines. The BZ13 PM is currently priced about $150 less than the Rocket Apartmento, but has the PID brew temperature control not found in the Apartmento. That PID gets you far more accurate brew temps, and with PID, you generally do not have to do a cooling flush on a machine, something you usually do need to do on a machine like the Apartmento. Compared to the Profitech Pro 500 PID and other rocket heat exchange boiler machines with PID, the BZ13 is hundreds of dollars less, so it is an incredible value at this level of machine. You're gonna give up a little in boiler size, but gain a super fast heat up time of just eight minutes with that electrically heated group. With the NSF certification, you've got a super solid home machine that's also ready to go for lower volume service in a cafe, coffee shop, or restaurant. Now, if you've been using a single boiler machine, you know, you can't brew and steam at the same time. Moving up to a machine with a heat exchange boiler gives you that capability. Beyond saving a lot of time, it means better drink as your espresso and milk are never waiting for each other to be done. Also means less hassle as you don't have to cool down the boiler after steaming, which is a requirement when using a single boiler machine. Now, before we go inside the machine, a quick top to bottom tour. At the back, a large three liter water reservoir, then a large warming surface for cups and another smaller one above the group. Working our way down, the steam and hot water valves are lever action. Both valves can be operated momentarily or locked on. Brewing on the PM version of the machine is simple. Just push the brew switch to start and push again to stop an extraction. The PM shown here has the stock black handles and Bedzera logoed portafilter handle. Over on the DE version, we have the beautiful Rosewood upgrade. It's available for either of the machines and includes the Rosewood levers and matching portafilter, which is angled. That angle makes for a parallel to counter surface for tamping, and that's really nice and easier group lock-in. The DE does volumetric doses using the one and two cup buttons or manual doses using the button with the Bedzera logo. That button is also used to program the one and two cup doses. Just press and hold until the lamp flashes, then press the button you want to program the volume for. The pump will start. Once you have the amount you want in your cup, press the button again and that volume will be stored. Next time you press that button, the same volume will be dispensed and the pump's gonna stop automatically. On the face of the machine, a brew pressure gauge, outlet for the three-way solenoid valve and the PID controller display. The gauge lets you know when your grind size is in the ballpark. You want a brew pressure of nine bar or less. If you're over nine bar, your grind is likely too fine and you'll be over extracting. If seriously under nine bar, your grind may be too coarse and your espresso may be under extracted. The three-way solenoid valve opens after an extraction and removes excess water from the coffee puck so it's dry and easy to knock out. 
the PID, that's where you're gonna set your brew temp. Just press the minus button until you see PRG, then use the plus and minus buttons to set your desired brew temperature. The little red dot in the display comes on when the heating element is energized. Once the boiler is up to temperature, the dot blinks as very short pulses of energy are used to maintain an accurate temperature in the boiler. I did some brew temp testing using a SCASE device. With my PID set at 199, the SCASE consistently read within plus or minus one degree Fahrenheit midway through a simulated extraction. Like our SCASE tests, steam tests are unofficial but give us a good idea of relative performance. Now, our standard is frothing five ounces of milk from fridge temps, typically starting in the high 40s once the milk's in the pitcher, and then we're gonna take that to above 140 degrees Fahrenheit. We like the froth quality from the two-hole tip and hit our target range in a little over 15 seconds. That's excellent and blows away what you can expect on most single boiler machines. If you like a hot cup, the above group warming surface of the BZ13 is subjectively among the hottest we've felt. A uh, check with the thermometer showed 135 degrees Fahrenheit in a room with an ambient temp of 72 degrees. That is excellent and will have you enjoying warmer beverages. Now, at the start of the video, I promised you a look inside the machine. It is well put together. Here's the 1.5 liter nickel plated copper boiler with brass end plates. Pressure carrying pipes are copper. Now, but Zara sets the OPV, which controls brew pressure and flow at the factory. Now, I suggest you leave it at the factory setting of 11 bar of pressure in a closed system for proper brew water flow rate. The 11 bar setting does not mean you will be brewing at 11 bar, unless of course your grind is too fine. If for some reason you do need to change it, the OPV is adjustable using a 16 millimeter wrench to turn this nut. The BZ13 comes with a double spout portafilter, single and double filter baskets, plus a blind basket for back flushing. You'll get a group rush in one of those Plastic tampers included with just about every machine at this level. Now go do yourself a favor and get a real tamper. Maybe something like this matching rosewood tamper embossed with a Bedzera logo. If you need a grinder, Bedzera's own BB005 pairs well with these machines. It's a solid machine grade product with very precise grind size adjustment. Far better in quality than appliance grade grinders with similar specs. The Bedzera BZ13 PM and DE models are available now at Whole Latte Love. If you have any questions on these products or anything coffee, use those comments and I'll get you a detailed answer. I'm Mark, thanks for watching. I do hope you will subscribe and come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love.